Hi there, welcome along to today's vlog. If you're here for the Kimophone microphone, it is here. I just want to say a few things to those of you who regularly watch the vlog. And hey, if you're new here, make become someone who regularly watches the vlog. Smash that subscribe button, hit a like. Speaking of subscriptions, thank you so much to those of you who have got me over the 12,000 subscribers mark. I remember kind of... Trying to get it to 10,000 was such a big thing. We got there two years ago. And even though I've not made as many videos, anywhere near as many videos as I would like to have done in the last two years, it's amazing that we've reached over 12,000 already. So thank you, thank you for being part of this. Thank you for your continued support. Now I want to ask a little bit of help. I have a quick survey. It will take you less than four minutes to answer it. Five questions, that's all there is. Uh, I just want to sort of test the water a little bit. I want to find out what you guys are interested in when you're playing the saxophone. What do you want to get better at? What is it that you find difficult especially around practice because I'm really trying to get my head into gear ready for the sax coach and that's coming soon now I've kind of held off a little bit on it because well I'll be honest with you my web host is crap and the website is running slowly and I want it to be super fast like lightning quick and I'm working with some developers at the minute to make sure we get it right so bear with me answer the survey it's below and if you do fill your contact details in and you can be in with a chance of winning not only a Daddario Ven read the brand new synthetic read that I talked about here which is amazing on the alto saxophone been playing that a bit but also a chance of some other goodies as well so that said let's get on with this microphone review So as you can see, you get two parts of this microphone. You get the mic itself with a clip for the bell and a transmitter, and then you get a receiver, which goes into the desk. I'm a bit bothered about it being a jack plug rather than an XLR, but hey, hey let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna put it straight into Logic, so you can hear it through Logic. And what I will do, and usually I will not use any of the mic from the camera uh, on this play test. I will just use the mic fix from this. Word of warning, clip mics for me never give you a full sound on the saxophone. They are, however, incredibly useful if you're playing function band stuff. Um, and the convenience of not having to stand in front of a mic is obviously something that if you're playing pop rock music is much more convenient. In jazz, no, you want to be able to have um, the full sound of the instrument. But let's give it a go. <laughs> So I thought I'd give you the chance to hear it as I hear it for the first time uh, analysing this microphone and see what it does. So this is straight into Logic, nothing added, no EQ, no nothing. Um, I was worried that it was sort of peeking out a little bit. Am I a little bit off angle there? It's 
really thin sounding, isn't it? Let's see if we can tidy some of that up with the EQ. It's quite a boxy sound. I'm trying to clean it up in the EQ and I'm not getting there, but that could be, you know, where the mic is. And But you've heard me play uh, in this room hundreds of times before if you're watching the vlog. So, yeah, the sound's bothering me a little bit. In terms of setting the thing up, it's one of the simplest things I've seen. Clip on, two transmitters. But I do, they need a wider spectrum of sound for the saxophone. I wonder if there's some kind of compression going on between uh, the transmitter and that, which is limiting it off. I've watched a few other people's videos on YouTube. They've got a shed load of reverb on and they're in bigger rooms. They get maybe getting a little different sound. It's kind of what we call horses for courses, isn't it? I mean, if you want um, a clip on mic, for the ease of flexibility moving around then yeah you've got it um in this room it's not working i'd like to give it a test on a bigger gig maybe that might happen over the summer uh and i'll do a follow-up review in a big room for now lovely design but the sound is letting me down so what have I been getting up to instead of vlogging? Well, one of the things I've been doing is traveling. Uh, last weekend i had my first ever trip to italy and it was amazing I stayed in Verona, uh, Romeo and Juliet territory of course, uh, and visited Venice as you've seen those gondola rides. The food was incredible. My partner Lydia, she's half Italian herself and she's told me since we've been going out, you know, Dan you've never tasted Italian food until you've got to Italy and she's so spot on. I just absolutely loved it, absolutely adored it. So that's one of the places I've been, I've been doing a bit more traveling, focusing on my kids as well, and making sure they're enjoying stuff, Charlie with his football and all this different stuff. So, so yeah, one final thing I wanna talk about in today's vlog is something that I took it down a year ago in this vlog, almost a year ago to the day, you can see me painting the wall in that vlog. I got rid of my whiteboard to make a better background. Now, there have been lots of other things going on, not least the relationship I've just told you about, but just life in general. I mean, I've really felt my creative spirit has died. And I think one of the reasons for that is not having my whiteboard anymore. So yesterday, I got the whiteboard put up uh, in another room in the house, and I'm going to sketch out some of the ideas and show you a little bit. I mentioned it way, way, way back in the start of the vlog, like episode four or something, about why, how I find whiteboards so useful for planning. Um, I've tried doing it on apps, on the iPad, on the computer, everything. It never quite does the trick. So the last little bit of the vlog is me working out, whoops, making sure I close that door next time in shop, <laughs> just basically showing you how I go about thinking and emptying what's in here onto a page.
Now one of the big things that's come back from the question there, which you can answer below, that so far from people on my mailing list, is they want to get better at improvising, get better at time, tone, technique. And ultimately, as I'm sketching out those ideas of how you can get better at that, is transcriptions. Transcribing is the route to getting better at all those things. All those things. Now I need to think about in Sax Coach how I can make that more accessible, but if you transcribe, you'll be better at all those. Thank you very much for watching today's vlog. I hope you found that review useful. Um, I will link to the microphone below. Uh, listening back on the review, because I've just come back and obviously done the edit that you've now listened to, that I didn't hear as in the studio. For a wireless mic, I think it's pretty good. It's just not gonna be as good as an AKG 414 or the um, uh, Rode uh, EV20. Um, but they're the mics I normally use. And I always want my sound to be amazing, as it says on the board. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye.